you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. However, the updated fruit might switch to avocado. This single-seeded berry is packed with health benefits and super versatile. Today we're making a creamy avocado pasta with sweet potato spaghetti. Then blending to make a vegan chocolate smoothie. And if you're wondering what shoe to wear with your outfit, it's all in the next episode. Presented by the Sui Hero Electric Inc. Aloha, I'm Valerie Joseph with Fashion Sense. Restyling runway looks to the walkways of Hawaii and providing smart solutions to all your fashion needs. Hi friends, welcome to Fashion Sense. Avocados, we all love them. I can enjoy them simply with kosher salt and a little bit of lemon juice. I can enjoy them mashed up in guacamole with some pita chips. I can enjoy them in a smoothie. Basically, there are so many ways that I enjoy the healthy fruit. Today, we are making a creamy avocado pasta. Let's get started. Now, the best part about this recipe is that there is no butter or cream in it just fresh ingredients. For today's dish, we are using a sweet potato pasta. And what I love about this pasta is it is made with just three simple ingredients. Lentil flour, beef flour, and sweet potato flour. It's gonna look so yummy with the avocado sauce. So while you're boiling your pasta, you can whip up your sauce. We already pre-made our pasta here, so let's get started with our sauce. And y'all know that half to ripen your avocados is to put them in a brown paper bag with an apple or a banana for a few days and that will quickly ripen your avocado so we are adding two whole avocados avocado is such a versatile fruit you can eat them you can drink them you can put them on your face I'm gonna add some cilantro. This is about a quarter cup of cilantro. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of fresh basil. It's smelling wonderful. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic. Now the recipe calls for two. I'm adding three because I love garlic. And what I love about garlic is that it helps to ward off blood suckers, mosquitoes, vampires, I'm sure it could ward off vampires too. Then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. That's about one large lemon. And then all you need to do is blend it all together. Now, I'm gonna add some kosher salt to wake up the flavors. I know it looks a little chunky. It looks like guacamole. Hang on. I'm gonna add some fresh ground black pepper. And then I'm gonna drizzle in some olive oil. This is about a third of a cup of olive oil. And that's gonna add all the creaminess. Now, if you feel like it's still too chunky, Add a little bit of the water from the pasta you made earlier. Oh my gosh, I think it's done. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting too excited. Now you wanna take your pasta into a bowl. And then we're gonna add our sauce. I'm gonna add some grape tomatoes, so I'm just gonna slice them in half. And it's just gonna add some color, it's gonna add freshness. I love grape tomatoes. And the beauty about making your own pasta sauces is that you really can customize the flavors to your liking. And I feel it's a little healthier because you know exactly what's in it. I'm just gonna toss that with our pasta here. Doesn't it look amazing already? Who would have thought that avocado could be used for a pasta sauce, right? Mm. It's so rich and creamy. And I love that we didn't need to use any butter or cream.
wanted something total building automation. We chose Light Cloud because of that reason. Our future is to be totally off grid. I'm Daryl Suhiro, president of the Suhiro Electric Inc. We are using Light Cloud to control all of our lighting and we are able to integrate it with our mechanical system, which controls our AC system and our exhaust fans in our restrooms and the warehouse ventilation. Our favorite feature is being able to totally control every light fixture in this warehouse. Summarizing Light Cloud, total building lighting automation. Welcome back. Earlier, I mentioned that I also love to drink my avocados. So this next recipe we're making is a vegan chocolate avocado milkshake. Like the pasta dish we made earlier, this recipe is so unbelievably creamy and it's ultra quick to whip up. Now I know it sounds odd to add an avocado in a smoothie, but you have to give this a try. It's so good. So in a blender, we are going to combine half of one large avocado. Out the skin. <laughs> oh, oh. Skin wants to get in there. And we're adding one and a half cups of chilled almond milk. Now I am using the original unsweetened version because we are going to get the sweetness from this next ingredient two tablespoons of maple syrup, a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Now here's where you can customize it. You can add your favorite frozen fruit. You can even add your favorite protein powder. I am adding some cacao powder for that chocolate taste. And cacao is a superfood. Then I'm gonna add a dash of salt just to wake up all the flavors. And then we blend. Next, all we're going to do is pour it in a cute little mason jar. All right, going in for a sip. Mmm, so good. It's so rich and creamy. You can't even taste the avocado unless you've got some super taste buds. Maybe you can taste it. It's so good. Okay, we've ate our avocados. We drank our avocados. Next, we're gonna put them on our face. Don't go away. Hawaiian coffee body scrubs. Moisturizing, rejuvenating, energizing. Beautiful. Handmade in Hawaii with Aloha. Coco Java. Hi friends! When it comes to juggling multiple projects, women welcome the challenge. 
Today we are joined by beauty expert Deidre Harvey, owner of Zoe Lash Pro, who is more than just a beauty expert. She is a salon owner, a mother, a master lash artist, and an educator. Hi Deidre. Hi Val. Well that's a heavy list. I have such a big respect for educators, but you're not just an educator, you're a mother and a salon owner and a master lash artist. How do you do all of that? Well, I've never thought of myself as a juggler, but now that you say that, I guess I do keep pretty busy. You sure do. You started off as a lash artist, and then you owned your own salon, yes. and then now you're teaching. So what motivated you to teach? It was really my love for lashes. Mm -hmm. So the first couple years, I took a couple courses, really gained my knowledge and practiced my techniques. Then I decided to travel to Kazakhstan, which is right below Russia. And there, I trained under a person named Nelly, who has a company called Bordeaux. I was able to become a certified instructor for two techniques of hers, which is the Mega Volume Bordeaux technique, uh -huh. and also the Bordeaux Eyelid Lifting technique. Oh, wow, it sounds so fancy. Now, what's the difference between the two? Okay, so Mega Volume for yeah. the Bordeaux technique is a really full, voluminous, just eyeliner effect look, mm -hmm. which is, tends to be pretty popular as far as a Russian volume uh -huh. technique. It's a mega volume, voluminous. I, voluminous, it creates like an eyeliner effect, so it looks like you have an eye, uh, have eyeliner on, but you don't, it's just your lashes. Yes. That sounds right up my alley. The second one is the eyelid lifting uh -huh. technique, and okay. what that does, it creates a double eyelid effect from someone that has monolids. Sounds really cool because you can transform someone's eye that doesn't have a double eyelid with this technique and you can create that double yes. eyelid. Yes. Wow. And you are the only lash artist to teach these two techniques in the state of Hawaii. Yes. That's super cool. So guys, if you are a lash artist or just want to learn these super cool techniques, contact Deidre on their website, ZoLashPro.com. Make sure you follow them on their Instagram at so Lash Pro. We'll be right back. We wanted something total building automation. We chose Light Cloud because of that reason. Our future is to be totally off grid. I'm Daryl Suhiro, president of D Suhiro Electric Inc. We are using Light Cloud to control all of our lighting and we were able to integrate it with our mechanical system, which controls our AC system and our exhaust fan in our restrooms and the warehouse ventilation. Um, our favorite feature is being able to totally control every light fixture in this warehouse. Summarizing Light Cloud, total building lighting automation. Hi friends! So we've been highlighting the versatile fruit, the avocado. First, we made a creamy avocado pasta with sweet potato spaghetti. So delicious! Then we blended it to make a vegan chocolate smoothie. Talk about decadence! 
So now, let's mix it up and give our face a healthy glow. Now, I love face masks, especially ones that are edible. And this one is so easy to do. Here are all the ingredients you need. Now, if you want to see any of our recipes or episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, this is so easy to do, you guys. All we're going to do is blend everything together. One ripe avocado. Avocados are packed with healthy fats, and the oils will help nourish and moisturize our skin. And then we're going to add some plain Greek yogurt. The creamy texture of this is going to help lock in the moisture. Some raw honey, which helps with a variety of skin concerns, including inflammation. And a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Lemons are filled with vitamin C, which is a antioxidant and a skin brightening agent. Now this last ingredient is optional, but if you want to enhance and boost your face mask, throw it in there. This is rolled oats, and this is gonna help soothe your skin. All right, we're just gonna blend it all together. I'm just gonna use a spatula to get all the ingredients down together so everything's nicely incorporated. Yum. creamy texture. It's always so fun when you can use food to make healthy skincare products. You can also eat it. Looks like a bowl of guacamole for my face. <laughs> mm. So delicious. Okay, let's go smother our face. I'll meet you in the bathroom. With a clean, dry face, apply liberally all over, including your neck. I like to stick my face mask in the refrigerator for a few minutes to get cool before applying. The coolness may help reduce pores and ease fine lines and wrinkles. Plus, it feels so refreshing. And don't worry if it gets messy, it's safe enough to eat. Let the mask sit on your face for 20 minutes and absorb all the goodness. Relax. Wash mask off and follow up with your regular skincare routine. You are good to glow. Hawaiian Coffee Body Scrubs. Moisturizing. Rejuvenating. Energizing. Sun kissed. Alluring. Beautiful. Handmade in Hawaii with Aloha. Coco Java. Energy flows where the intention goes. And today, friends, I have for you 
a floor work flow that's intended to bring you around in a nice little circle in a fun dancey way. Join me. We're gonna need some space on the floor and some socks for sliding. Let's go ahead and begin. We're gonna start seated right on top of our legs. We're gonna place our palms down in front of us onto the floor and then start to shift the weight over the shoulders, elbows and the wrists, and then hike your tailbone up into the sky, coming to the tops of your feet. And slide in. Again, palms down, hiking the tailbone up, shifting the weight of the body over the shoulders, and then sliding back in. Second, we're going to come to the top and come back down onto the hip. From here, we have our weight on our back hip and back arm. We're going to bring this top leg and you're going to press it in and then externally rotate and open it up, bringing this arm to the floor. Now this back leg is going to sweep around, chest is going to go to the floor, second hand is going to go down. You're gonna come into a nice wide straddle from the tops of the feet. They're pressed into the floor. Tipping back down onto this hip and then sliding the leg in. And here we are right at the beginning. Let's do that again so we can create our circle. Palms are gonna to go to the floor, hike the tailbone into the sky, coming to the tops of the feet, sliding in, tipping onto this back hip, opening up, from this top leg, press open. Second leg's gonna slide through, palms are gonna go to the floor. Straddle pike, tipping down. And then you have just created your nice little circle. I hope you enjoyed this floor work flow and got out some of that energy. And remember, always be kind to your body. Hi friends, raise your hand if you believe that every shoe can tell a story. Matching your outfit to the right shoe can elevate your style, but the wrong shoe can tank your outfit. With limitless styles, prints, and colors to choose from, the possibilities are endless and it can be overwhelming. So here's a few tips to help guide you on what shoe to match with your outfit. If your outfit is made up of one or two solid colors, you can either pick one of the colors or pick a neutral color. Matching colors exactly tends to get a bad reputation for being matchy-matchy. I disagree. And it's perfectly okay that the shades are not exactly the same. This pointed toe flat shoe is both casual and elegant. The monochromatic head to toe creates a chic and regal look. If your outfit has delicate or interesting details, Carry those details down to your shoe. What makes this tweed jumpsuit so special are the pearl details of the buttons and belt buckle. We played off these delicate features and selected a pearl slip-on flat sandal. Flats can often be seen as too casual, but a feminine one like this pearl style creates a stylish combination. If your outfit has a strong pattern, pick one color from that pattern and match that to your shoe. Patterned apparel are one of the easiest to pair a shoe with because all the colors in the print give you clues as to what color shoe to reach for. Here we chose a strappy yellow heel to brighten up the outfit 
and make it summertime ready. Now if your shoes has a pattern on it, match your outfit to the shoe, not your shoe, to the outfit. And carry that pattern into your outfit, especially in the bottom part of your ensemble. This brocade skirt looks like it was made just for the shoe. Carrying the print from the shoe up into your outfit helps to create a total look. A kitten heel makes it easy to wear both day and night. If your shoe is a statement piece, maybe something with a lot of bling in it, or just something you want to draw attention to, keep your outfit simple and in neutral color tones. This pretty pump has the best of both worlds, bling and print. Because we want these pretty heels to shine, we kept her outfit in simple silhouettes and in light pastel colors. It is also fun to match your shoe to the overall theme of your outfit. So for example, if you have a color theme of navy and white, try a pop of red. Blue jeans and t-shirts are a classic combination and easy to accessorize creating a theme. If your outfit has an overall theme, pick a colored shoe that will be a part of the theme. Nothing more bold than red, white, and blue. I hope this helps guide you. And with endless styles to choose from, who can blame a gal for having a personal shoe store in her closet? And like Cinderella, if the shoe fits, the right one might just land you a happily ever after story. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always great to share with you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, or head to our website to send us your favorite recipes or questions. We'd love to share them on the show. Let's stay connected. Until next time, be fabulous, be beautiful, be the best version of you. We'll see you next time. Okay, this is going to be Fashion Sense segment. Episode six, outro, take 20. All you need are two ripe avocados. <laughs> That's not working. There we go. <laughs> Hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Let's have tissue paper. Stuff your shoe. <laughs> Seriously. A little too much. A little. <laughs> oh. <laughs>